The last topic in this lecture is the convergence of a sequence of random variables. Uh, we'll discuss four such modes of convergence and end the discussion with uh, the law of large numbers. So when we uh, talk about uh, the convergence of a sequence of real numbers, uh, we have in mind uh, a limit and as we progress with the sequence, as we go down the sequence, the distance uh, from the limit becomes smaller and smaller. And this is uh, formalized in terms of very precise definitions. Now, when we have a sequence of random variables, uh, what does it mean to talk about convergence of such a sequence? So uh, let's first think of uh, cases or situations where such a sequence even occurs. So uh, I have put two examples on the screen. Uh, one is uh, the estimation of uh, a population mean by taking samples. So as the sample size becomes larger and larger, uh, the sample mean would constitute such a sequence of random variables. The other example would be the definition uh, of the derivative of a stochastic process. Uh, we have not talked about stochastic process uh, yet, but uh, it's basically a random function in, in time. So uh, if we uh, take the ratio as you uh, see on the screen for different values of h, for smaller and smaller values of h, every time we get a new random variable, uh, which uh, we call yt comma h. And so does this sequence of random variables uh, converge to something so that we can define that as the derivative of the process. So uh, in such situations, uh, uh, what would be the limit and how to even define convergence? Because uh, we need to keep in mind uh, that a random variable is is not a single number. It's, it's a function defined uh, on the sample space. Um, so there are um, uh, four ways that we can think of uh, a sequence of random variables can converge uh, and those four ways are almost sure convergence, uh, convergence in mean square, uh, convergence in probability and convergence in distribution. And in the end we'll discuss uh, the hierarchical relation uh, between pairs of these. Uh, so uh, in talking about almost sure convergence, uh, let's uh, say that we define uh, two random variables x prime and x uh, on the same sample space. So if it happens that for every sample point omega, uh, the random variable omega, uh, x of omega and x prime of omega uh, are equal with probability 1 except uh, an exception set with uh, zero probability measure, then uh, we can say uh, that uh, x prime is equal to x almost surely. So we, if we extend that idea to the sequence of uh, x1, x2 up to xn, then that sequence converges to uh, the random variable x almost surely if uh, the, the, in the limit the probability that xn equals x is exactly equal to 1. Uh, now that's a very strong statement. If we weaken that statement we uh, get a convergence in probability. So if now we have any positive epsilon and uh, we uh, define the convergence in terms of a probability uh, in the limit uh, in terms of uh, xn minus x, the absolute value greater than epsilon, epsilon being any positive number, then uh, if that probability is zero, then we uh, get convergence in probability. Uh, if you compare the two, uh, the almost sure convergence and convergence in probability, you can see how the uh, 
uh, requirement has been diluted in the convergence in probability case. Now, if we replace uh, the uh, the probability in the limit in convergence in probability with the expectation, the expectation of uh, the difference or the expectation of the, the pth norm uh, between x and xn, then what we get is the convergence in LP norm. Uh, and, uh, so, and if p is 2, uh, that gives uh, mean square convergence, which we also uh, call uh, limit in mean. And obviously, it makes sense only for those cases uh, where the second order, uh, it, uh, the, the expectation of x squared uh, actually exists. But uh, this would be the, the definition of the, the mean square convergence. The fourth mode of convergence is uh, convergence in distribution. So if now we have uh, a sequence of distributions. So each random variable x i has the distribution f i and if the sequence uh, converges to f x uh, for every continuity point of uh, the function, then uh, we say that the sequence of random variables x1 up to xn converges in distribution to the random variable x whose distribution is fx. Now, how do they stack up against each other? So what is the hierarchy? Uh, the almost sheer convergence implies, as we discussed, convergence in probability, uh, but the converse is not necessarily true. So convergence in probability is a much weaker statement. Uh, likewise, mean square convergence also implies convergence in probability, but the converse is not necessarily true. And convergence in probability in turn implies convergence in distribution. And the converse is not necessarily true. Uh, some lectures back we discussed uh, the central limit theorem and the convergence uh, we talked about in the, th that context was actually convergence in distribution. Uh, for further reading, we uh, I would uh, refer to uh, the two volumes by Feller and the book by Sidney Resnick.